Welcome to your channel Pharmacypedia. In this session, we are going to talk about parametric test and non-parametric test. In continuation to our lecture series on biostatistics and research methodology, today we are going to discuss and learn about what are the basic differences between the parametric test and non-parametric test. In our upcoming session, we shall be discussing many tests which are related to non-parametric test. This topic specifically has been taken from Unit 3 of Biostatistics and Research Methodology. So if you are still not subscribed to my channel Pharmacypedia, please do like, share and subscribe to Pharmacypedia for getting all the updates and important contents related to pharmacy. So first let us try to understand about the non-parametric and the parametric test. My dear students, parametric simply means when you have the data with the specific values, when you have the specific numbers in your hand and you have to deal with the data, you go for the parametric test. Para means numbers, so you go for the parametric test when you have the specific numbers. But when you don't have specific numbers in your database, when it is a comparative assessment, for example, uh, when you have the different ranks being achieved in the competitive exams, in that case, the data is arbitrary. In that case, the data is not homogeneous. So we call it as a non-parametric data. So we carry out non-parametric test for, the, for such kind of the data where we have to deal with the certain hypothesis where the things have been ranked up. So they are not the exact values, but they are the comparative assessments. So like uh, the basic difference with, between the parametric and the non-parametric test is that in the parametric test we deal with the data, specific numbers, specific values, whereas in the non-parameter metric test we usually deal with the data which have certain specific characteristics, they don't have the specified number, even if they have the specified number, this is not their exact values and they are, these numbers can be in the arbitrary forms, so the data is non-homogeneous. So like uh, these tests do not require any sort of the specific form for the distribution of the population and therefore they are known as the non-parametric test. They are also an alternative series of statistical method which are based on very limited assumption. Now this is again very important difference between the parametric and the non-parametric test. In parametric test there are certain assumptions, there are certain hypotheses to be made out whereas in the non-parametric test they are actually based on very limited assumptions and they don't rely on any sort of the assumptions. So there is a wide range of differences and the tests which are being carried out to study the parametric test and non-parametric test. So we shall be in future also discussing in my upcoming videos about detailed analysis of the non-parametric test, different tests like Wilcoxon test, pair test, different tests are there to actually study about the non-parametric in the form of chi-square, man whitney test. Uh, sign Wilcoxon test like that. So my dear students don't get confused. We you need to understand in biostatistics first of all the basic difference between parametric as well as the non-parametric test. So non-parametrics now you can understand you are dealing with the sample statistics which is a representation of a population parameter where the distribution is skewed. When I say skewed, you, it is not following a particular uh, like normal binomial distribution which is being followed in the parametric test. So like in parametric test you have normal distribution curve but in the case of the non-parametric test you have the skewed data, you have this uh, the, or you can see the data is ordinal. Now let us try to understand different parametric tests. So there are three basic requirements to understand what kind of the data should go for the parametric test. So when I say uh, for the parametric test, the very first requirement is that there, which requires a certain basic assumptions. Now what are these assumptions? Like the distribution curve would be normal. That is the normality of the distribution curve. Then the homogeneity of the variance. So the differences in the data is like that you can have the requirement of the interval or uh, ratio data. So in my dear students, when you studied about the mean, median and the mode, you were actually doing the parametric analysis. So many statistical techniques are actually conducted as very robust to violations of the assumptions. Therefore, my dear students, you should understand that parametric tests are more accurate as compared to the non-parametric test. Parametric test deals with the data sets where you have num numerous data number values with you, whereas in the case of the non-parametric test, uh, you don't have that um, 
actual numbers you are actually dealing with the arbitrary numbers like the ranks in the case of competitive examinations in the parametric test and parametric tests are more powerful tools as compared to the, to the non-parametric test because why we say more powerful because it is based on certain assumptions whereas non-parametric tests are not based on or they have a very limited assumptions talking further about that parametric tests are considered as a quantitative data analysis whereas the non-parametric tests are considered as a ranked or qualitative data analysis so you can say that they are more powerful parametric tests are more powerful where assumptions are met and non-parametric tests are considered easy to compute as compared to your parametric test now talking about the different sorts of the uh, test which are being conducted for these parametric and non-parametric test so you can see for non-parametric non test again if you have a one variable in two categories and you have to study them you would prefer to use the man whitney u test the similar sort of the pa parametric test is the independent t test so th there is an you can say on one side you have parametric equivalent test to the non-parametric test depending on the condition what kind of the sample you have or you have to compare between two samples if there is one variable in a sample if there is a one variable and you have to do comparative analysis in a, in two samples you have to study more than one sample more than one variable in two or more populations so like it depends on what condition you have to study if you have to study more than two three variables uh, in two groups of the population you can have non parametric analysis in the form of man whitney u test when you have to see the rank analysis you can go for the wilcoxon signed rank test similarly depending on the type of the category there are specific tests which are being prescribed for the non parametric test similarly you you have that parametric evaluation test also on the other hand side which is considered equivalent to your non parametric test so this is the simple graph by which you can understand what test needs to be conducted out specifically for the non parametric test so when you decide with the given population data that you will be going with the non parametric test in that case first thing you have to see how many factors you have to evaluate so if the if you have to evaluate one factor then you have to see the sample groups next uh, uh, next task is to see what what is the number of the sample group if the number of sample group is one you will uh, go ahead for the wilcoxon signed rank test if the number of sample group is 2 you will see whether it is paired or unpaired in case of paired again you have the advanced wilcoxon matched pair signed rank test then for the two and unpaired data you have you will go for the man whitney test remember the variable is one here we are talking about the sample groups then if you have one factor but with the three sample groups you will go for the kruskal valis test so now again you have to see multiple comparisons then yes then don't test and if no fisher lst test so these are different sorts of the tests which are used to analyze the non parametric analysis further you should understand there are several advantages as well as disadvantages which are associated with the parametric as well as the non parametric test hereby i am discussing going to discuss about the non parametric test so when we say non parametric test the very first disadvantage is that there is no assumption or the whatever assumption is there it is very limited so you it may be happen that when the assumptions are required for parametric test they are not valid here second a uh, point of difference is that you are dealing with the unexpected outlying observation so they are not for, the data is not homogeneous and therefore it may be problematic with a parametric approach then third they these sorts of the test and analysis are basically considered intuitive and are very simple to carry out uh, by hand as compared to a parametric test which is little bit complicated and non parametric test methods are highly useful in the analysis of the ordered categorical data whereby you have the assigned scores to an individual categories for example you have the ranks or you have the assigned scores in a subject so you have one subject with the series so you can have that sort of the comparative assessment using the non parametric test now what are the disadvantages with this non parametric method there are few disadvantages they are considered less accurate they have the less power so as compared to the parametric test are more powerful they are considered more accurate and moreover this is a particular concern if the sample size is small or if the assumptions for the corresponding parametric methods do hold 
again they are like towards hypothesis testing rather than estimation of the effect so basically here we are not like uh, gearing up towards the hypothesis testing but we are actually doing the estimation of the effect whereby we do check for the hypothesis testing accurately in the case of your parametric test so sometimes it is often possible to obtain non parametric estimates and associated confidence intervals but this is not general so overall you derive less form of information from the non parametric test as compared to the parametric test i think now you're clear about the differences in the parametric as well as the non parametric test in my upcoming video sessions i will be discussing in detail about the non parametric test thank you so much thanks for watching the video please do like share and subscribe to pharmacy pedia for getting important contents related to pharmacy stay tuned stay happy thank you so much